Rafa, in front of me, I have some of the most searched questions on the internet about Rafa Benitez, and you're going to attempt to answer some of them now. How are you feeling? I will try to do it <laughs> well, so you never know, because uh, people are asking so many questions that you never know what can happen here. There's a lot of questions. So first up, where was Rafa Benitez born? That is an easy one, Madrid. <laughs> so uh, I'm from Madrid, and yeah. then normally I spend all my time in Madrid, and apart from some holidays, and after when I was a... Uh, professional manager traveling around Italy, England or China. And I read that your uh, family, you had Atletico and Real fans in your household. So how, how did that work? Yes, my mother was an Atletico Madrid fan and my, uh, sorry, my father and my mother was a Real Madrid fan. So it was okay. So they were not talking too much about football, to be fair. Right. My mother was taking me for training with Real Madrid in the academy. And my father was just a business. But it was not a fight every day. Right, it wasn't a fight every day. No, you no, were swayed no. towards the Real Madrid side then, were you? Yeah, this time because uh, when I was 13, I started in the academy yeah. of Real Madrid. And uh, I was just Real Madrid, Real Madrid. And then also Real Madrid has uh, the basketball team and I like basketball. So I was following Real Madrid all the time. Yeah. Right, OK. Uh, next one. How many trophies has Rafa Benitez won? That is also easy. 13. 13. So wow. then we have some promotions that doesn't count as a, as a trophy, but uh, 13. The good thing is that you did it in three, in three different countries. That mm. is not easy. So when you have to adapt to another style of football, another way to play and, and to manage things, uh, that is the difficulty. How difficult is that? Because you've obviously managed some huge clubs, obviously in England, in Italy, in Spain, in China. How long yeah. is that adaption period when you go to a new country, new culture, new language? People think that you go there, you're the manager, mm. and that's it. No, but you need to understand the mentality, the culture, mm. and the, the, the proper uh, culture of the club what they think, the fans, what they want, and every single player. And then when you have players from different countries, OK, you can talk with the uh, Spanish players or the South American players, mm. but the English players or the players from Russia, for some, so how can you communicate with them? Mm. So it's quite complicated to go inside their brains. And how many languages can you speak? Because you mentioned they're talking about your English. I mean, oh, yeah, I think I can talk great. Four, I can understand people in four or five, but I can talk maybe four. I need to practice a little bit of French, but uh, yeah, Italian, English, Spanish, and and a little bit of French. So Italian, English, Spanish, French. French. And Portuguese, uh, I can understand. Yeah. Wow, impressive. Okay. No, it's, not, it's not too much. A lot of people, they talk a lot of languages now. And if you want an international manager, maybe you need to talk five or six already. Wow. Are you planning to learn even more then? Is that no, it's just, um, <laughs> it's, it's quite enough. We were talking about German, but German is quite difficult. So yeah. I was learning some... So it is difficult, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was very yeah. difficult. I said, forget about that. <laughs> you just said, forget about it? Yes. Not for you. OK, uh, next question. Did Rafa Benitez play professional football? Yes, I was uh, in the academy of Real Madrid when I was 13. And I won the Youth Cup uh, with Real Madrid in the 18s. And then uh, when I was, I was international for Spain university games. So uh, when you are in the university, they have the, the Universiada, that is the, the name. 1979, always I remember in Mexico, is when I had an injury. At this time was the time that I could go to the second team of Real Madrid, Castilla. Right. I was good enough to play in the first team? No, I don't think so. I could play professional football in first division, yeah. second division? Like second yes, tier, maybe, yeah, yeah. I, could, I could do that, but I had the injury. Then I went to, I was in League One on loan, and after I went to Linares in, in Jaén, I was my last year as a professional, that's it. So what age were you when you had to retire? And it was 26. 26 years old. I was injured at wow. 19, and every year I had problems with my knee. Wow. Until the last year I had too many problems, and I said, listen, it's time to retire. And then I started working in the school as a PE teacher and after in a gym, thing like that. Uh, next one, does Rafa Benitez have any pets? I have four already. Wow. So we have a, a new puppy now, and we have uh, all of them dogs, mm. and uh, Scruffy, uh, Clem, uh, the new one is uh, Luna and uh, Sienna, so quite busy every day. Quite yeah, busy. I've walking them around, cleaning now, everything. <laughs> so quite busy. You have to clean a lot then, do you? Yeah, a lot yeah. of them now because it's, uh, it's four or five weeks. The oh long. right, really young. Yeah, I've seen on your Instagram there's a lot of photos of your dogs. So have you always had that love for dogs from a young age? Yeah, when I was a kid, we had I have Goofy that was a uh, Sasha uh, Sheffer was uh, really nice, and we were living in a fourth floor. Right. So we had to go running for the stairs to go outside because if not it was the neighbors oh, listen what is this okay clean it all the time so to clean it going no, downstairs to clean the dog i have to go running all the time so it was impossible because well impossible but uh, we were quite fast at this time four four floors to be sure that they, we go to the to the higher street so it was brilliant 
What's good? And I've also seen from your Instagram that you went to the zoo in China as well. You like you like animals, a big big part of your life going to A lot of members of my family are vets. So oh, right. Then uh, my cousin, my, my brother, my sister, so a lot of them. And they used to have this uh, love for the, for the animals, yes. Love it. Okay, I've got to get my phone out to show you uh, a video for the next clip because our next one just quite simply says, is Rafa Benitez magic? And I don't know if you've seen this, but it's related to a rather famous incident Oh, look at that. <laughs> that was good. Have you seen that? Uh, yeah, I saw that in the past. I didn't, I didn't see it the last time. My daughter was uh, discovering the clip she didn't know last year. Right. And she was impressed. But uh, to be fair, it's not easy to do it. It has <laughs> no, to be the how timing. How many times did you practice it? The timing was uh, very good. I knew that uh, you were filming, so I would You knew that the sky was there filming it, yeah. So you haven't answered the question, are you magic then, is what people want to know. No, I am a hard worker. So <laughs> when you have uh, success, normally it's because uh, you have good people around, good players in football, good players with the staff, good people around, and also you have to keep working hard. So it's not that uh, you can do it in, oh, that's it, I will do it uh, this game or, or this team. Or, you need to work hard and then you have to make a lot of right decisions. And this is the most difficult thing. And when you have been in the business so long, like me, and you have success in different countries, it's not that, oh, you are lucky. Mm. So you cannot be lucky. 30 years, no? you can you have to do something more than just luck, it's just uh, hard work and the people around you, I say, you need good players, good stuff and then you can be lucky and do like that. <laughs> Love it. Uh, next one, is Rafa Benitez good at any other sports? I like this. Yeah, I used to do judo when I was six judo. years old, Yeah, until okay. I was 13, then yeah. I has to, started playing football and I left judo with a brown belt but I brown was, belt because yeah. I did judo I, I only got this is a true story I only got to yellow belt okay no I did <laughs> not uh, good is it not great no, when I was 13 I left and then I started playing football and I was doing well in football yeah and then at uh, 16 yeah I my brother was doing the, the exam for the black belt wow. and I went with him so I have five five fights yeah and uh, I won the first one I drew the second one and I couldn't, the, three, the last three I lost all of them because I didn't have the power. Really? So you have to train and yeah. you were fit, but you were fit in your legs, right, but okay. not your arms. So it was quite complicated for me. I was doing judo for years and I yeah. was doing basketball. So I, I like it. I have the, the, the monitor of basketball. So the, I am a coach of basketball right. at youth level, if you want. When I was injured, I couldn't kick the ball too much. Right. So I was playing basketball and I like basketball. I was quite coordinated at this time. So I was not a top in anything if you want, right. but I could do everything more or less yeah. fine. You, brown belt in judo is really good. That, I mean, that's a very high level. You'd have definitely beaten me then in, in, a, in a No, it was good. I was from yellow belt, you'd have beaten me. No, I was competing and I was, I like it. But uh, for example, I will tell you that I remember when I was doing the black belt exam. Mm. So the person that was, the, the one that was uh, in front of me yeah. was this size, but right. this size. Really? So, so it was then small, but it was the, me, the like same a... weight, but the, this side. So yeah. it was impossible. So for me, because I was growing up, yeah. so I was doing Morote, Morote Shonage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you have to, to go down to yeah. do it. But when I was growing up, it was more difficult. Then you have yeah. to change the, the Uchimata, that was the other one. So it was quite, I liked it a lot yeah. at this time because I was competitive and I was doing well. <laughs> but after with football, it was impossible. Yeah. Not so that, that fight, how did that go with the little guy who was built? It, it was very one-sided. No, no, he killed me. He killed <laughs> me. <laughs> yeah, he killed me. <laughs> you weren't unlucky, he won fair and square. No, no, it was very clear. I, I said to you, <laughs> they were so strong. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and for me, when you don't have the power in yeah, the arms. I know what you mean. Yeah. You cannot, I remember I was struggling one and, and they couldn't, impossible. Okay, uh, next one. What does Rafa do in his downtime? What do you do to relax, Rafa? Now working with the dogs, because I, we have dogs. so many, so dogs. Yeah. I like it to play chess. So okay. I like it to play chess in the past uh, a lot. And now I just uh, watching the telly, stay with the family, some films, and then going around and watching football, that's it. You said films, what films are you into? What, what sort of films? The films for me is uh, cowboys and then uh, fighting. So yeah. like the, the films that uh, my wife, she doesn't like, <laughs> yeah. these are the films that I like. So what happens when your wife wants to watch a romantic film, you want to watch no, we were watching, a violent film? What we were watching then? one the other day together and it was fine. But uh, normally, <laughs> if it's a romantic film, I go to watch football to the TV. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> You're not into the romantic films? No, sometimes, but no, not too much. We also had what music are you into as well? Is there a particular genre of music uh, that you're into? At this time was uh, the Beatles a lot. Yeah. The, the Whitney Houston, so things like that. So it was more quiet music and the Beatles. I was learning, trying to learn English at this time 
uh, with the Beatles and I realised later on that there was a Scouse accent and then it <laughs> sometimes was not so easy. Love it. Final question. Can Rafa Benitez win a major trophy as manager of Everton? Yes. Very quick you answered that. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. No, I think it's a... We will need some time. I don't say that we we cannot do anything now, but uh, I think we are improving. So that is very clear, very evident for everyone that we are improving. And then hopefully we can improve uh, as much I, as I want to be sure that we are competitive in every game. Because if you are competitive in every game, you can go to a cup competition and then do something. So you never know. And then when you have confidence, when you are doing well, uh, the people has more belief and then it's, it's uh, easier. So I think so. I think that we can do it. But uh, how long will it take? I don't know. Hopefully the first year, but uh, you never know. Rafa, I really enjoyed that. Thank you very much for your time. All the best for the rest of the season. I need to improve Thank on my judo by the sounds of it. Thank you very much. We can <laughs> fight now. See you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have a fight now. There we go.